Hey everyone, today I'm diving into something a bit chilling. Ever thought about those quaint little towns in Italy that seem to hide more than just beautiful landscapes and ancient ruins? Well, buckle up, because we're exploring the top 10 creepy Italian towns that you might just want to avoid on your next trip. Let's kick off with number 10, Caneto di Caronia. This place is infamous for spontaneous, unexplained fires that have baffled scientists and locals alike. Imagine walking through a village where objects catch fire without any apparent reason. Moving on to number 9, plagued by tales of haunting and eerie occurrences, the village of Krakow has been abandoned since 1963 due to a massive landslide. But those who venture close speak of ghostly whispers and a chilling absence of life. It's like stepping into a ghost story. At number 8, we have the town of Bovino. During ancient times, it was known for dark rituals and today, it carries a heavy, somber atmosphere that could unsettle even the bravest souls. Locals say the past still echoes through the cobblestone streets. Number seven takes us to Lucedio Abbey in Trino. This place isn't exactly a town, but it's surrounded by enough legends to make your skin crawl. Monks who turn to the dark arts, mysterious mists, and unexplained noises make Lucedio a no-go for the faint-hearted. At six, there's the village of Acadia, with a history steeped in witchcraft and curses, the air feels thick with secrets. It's told that whispers of the past can still be heard in the wind, a reminder of the village's dark history. Halfway through, at number five, is the town of Volterra. Known for its melancholic beauty, it's also the site of an ancient asylum with a harrowing past. The abandoned halls are said to be haunted by the spirits of former patients who never found peace. Number four is Ferentilio where mummies in the crypt of the church of Santo Stefano, eerily well-preserved by the unique air conditions, continue to frighten visitors with their lifelike poses. It's a grim reminder of our own mortality. Coming in at number three, San Pellegrino in Alpa. This remote village is shrouded in fog and legends of wandering spirits. The isolation here can make anyone feel like they're being watched by unseen eyes. At number two, the village of Filetino claims to be haunted by the spirit of an ancient monk seen roaming the forests. Locals avoid the woods at night, fearing they might encounter the spectral figure. And finally, our number one, the town of Varallo. Here, the Sacro Monte holds life-size statues depicting scenes of a medieval Christian tale. But at night, they are said to come alive. Visitors report hearing whispers and footsteps following them in the dark. It's as if the statues are keeping a sinister secret. So if you're looking for a thrill or maybe a chill, these towns are worth knowing about, just maybe from a safe distance. Thanks for joining me on this eerie journey across Italy. Stay curious, stay safe, and until next time, keep exploring.